Hello and welcome to the Corporate Development Academy, Kodak, a training series that tackles various issues of life. It's our fourth episode. Wow. Thank you for staying with us thus far and all the comments, feedback, and your support. My name is Chibuzo Okechuku. As the world battles its common enemy, the coronavirus disease, one popular conversation about the faith of entrepreneurs and office employees is the shutdown of businesses and mass loss of jobs which will affect the source of livelihood for many. However, one thing that will determine the survival factor or the continuous existence of people is what I'm going to be talking about today. Our topic for today is value. Value is the quantity or level of regard that something or someone is said to deserve. Value is fulfilling the needs of others by providing something of relevance in exchange for money or any other agreed item. Value is significant. It's worth, merit, importance, efficacy, effectiveness. Value is benefit. Let me start with this example. Take a security man at the entrance and a lawyer, both of them working at a Fortune 500 company. They both offer services to the firm. However, one earns possibly a hundred times more than the other. Why? The problems they solve differ. In simple terms, the value they offer to the firm. You know, the lawyer is valued more and obviously paid more. Similar to the aviation sector, people generally must pay to fly. Oh, it's not a free service. But you see, airlines differ in the value that they offer while providing the same service of transportation. This is why people are willing to pay so much for a particular company because they are short of extra comfort or just because of loyalty. It could even be just the legroom in their seats. Price is what you pay. Value is what you get. Today we will look at value from two angles. Value as a business and value as an employee. The value you provide to your customers or your organization is the reason they will pass with whatever that they pay. The service you offer or the job that you do alone will earn you something, definitely for your work done. But the added value you provide is what will make you stand out and remain relevant in the times that we are in now. Let's take the first one value as a business. This speaks of the degree of extra satisfaction that a business provides to its customers in order to stay competitive and preferred. You see, by adding value, a business will do better than its close competition. People naturally want things bigger, easier, faster, better, cheaper, more convenient, more comfortable, cleaner, readily available, and more accessible. As a business, you must focus on doing things the way people, and I mean your customers, will be happy. So deliver your goods and services faster. Serve your ice cream to your customers bigger. Let your furniture be cheaper and stronger, more durable. Tailors, make those clothes faster without stories. Give your airplanes more legroom and offer more deals. Interact with your customers in modern and relevant channels. Just conduct business with a focus to making the customer happier. You see, in the times that we're in, businesses need to be proactive and value-driven. Dig a well before you are thirsty, but dig over water. So I asked a few entrepreneurs what they are doing to stay relevant. Let's listen to what they have to say. It's a time to diversify into emerging sectors. Because of the pandemic, new sectors are emerging. Agricultural sector has different opportunities. Health sector has opportunities. So it's a time for businesses to key into these opportunities 
by of course diversifying, uh, putting a, a certain amount of investment in other aspects of business that is thriving at this um, at this time. Ensure that you pass on leadership for them to understand that the state of affairs would come to an end. I'm one week into the lockdown, customer interaction in my business reduced dramatically. So um, I got my team together and we started calling every single customer we had ever interacted with. We called those that didn't even you know, go into business with us, but we had their information. Um, we listened to them, we empathized, and then we understood their new pain point. With that understanding, we were able to craft a solution. Now that solution converted to value. And um, because they were willing to pay for that value, my business went on. So I didn't have to stop business. I am not planning on stopping my business. Now, as long as I keep dishing out value, my employees will still get paid. As we all know, the world has been hit by this pandemic and it has taken everybody by surprise and it has changed the way we do everything. We as a business, we've had to move all our services online and we've moved everything that we do, all our classes kept the same structure, we removed everything to Instagram. And we've kept engaging all our clients, we've reached out to everybody through WhatsApp messages, through emails, just to keep them active. This is what we had to do. Survival of the most adaptive. Hmm. Wonderful ideas they have. And I trust they'll be doing all the right things to keep you and I as customers interested in them. The second thing we'll be looking at is value as an employee. Your earning power, the success you have at work, and how far you climb the corporate ladder lies in how much of a problem solver you are. And this simply means how much value you add to your organization. This is what keeps you indispensable. So I'll quickly share some things you should do as an employee. First, understand the organization's vision. Preach it. Know what your company requires of you. Practice it. It shows your loyalty to the organization and deliberate action to meeting their standards. Identify your strengths. That's the second one. Look, every one of us is good at something and maybe not so good at other things. But irrespective of your job description, find a way to expose your strengths in line with how relevant it is or it can be to your organization. Another one is take initiative. Step up and be relevant. Now is not the time to lean back. Now is not the time to hide or be reserved. Focus on how you can solve the problems in your company. Let me say this. Be attentive and get creative. Organizations would only retain those who can add value. Focus on the bottom line. Propose things that will make a difference to the organization. Bring up ideas that make sense. Say things that would drive the company forward. Look, a company wants to see employees that will stand even when the business is facing tough times. And for those of you that are in operations, then you have to be exceptional in everything that you do. Aim to be the best in your duties. It does not matter what it is. Value is important. Now, the unfortunate reality is that there will be lots of jobs as a result of what we're going through now as companies are seeking to adapt to changing times and also to diversify their operations. But some employees will still be retained. It all comes down to value. Let's hear from this other entrepreneur how he plans to manage the situation surrounding his employees. My major concern is keeping the business afloat. But how do I do this? What, what do I automate? What, what, what do, don't I automate? Which employee do I retain? Which do I let go? To answer all, this, all these questions, I ask one simple question. What problem are you as an employee solving for me? And once I answer that question, it's easy for me to make that decision. And what problem you solve for me simply goes down to what value you're adding to the organization and our stakeholders. Dear friends, people are out there making money growing their businesses regardless of the weather, economy, politics, the pandemic or any other hindrance. Your dreams can earn you money and keep you relevant when you don't only have fans but customers. 
you must convert your fans into customers by adding value to what you do finally value is not just important it is the core of our lives regardless of how you look at it even in the bible when the fig tree stopped producing that's when it was no longer valuable it was cursed it was made to never be productive again so get out there and add value thank you for watching don't forget to interact with us please turn on your notifications so you are constantly informed of our posts and subsequent episodes in real time now let's make it more specific invite at least a hundred people to like our page and continue to share the videos with your friends thank you for watching and join us again next time this is Kodak